Oh, yeah. I um, just want to introduce you guys into uh, the concept of uh, the circle of fifths, as well as enharmonic notes. <clears throat> now, in the previous video, we, we talked about the order of flats and sharps, and, well, it's, it's useful to have some sort of graphical representation of that. And luckily, somebody came up with a, a brilliant concept of drawing a circle. I, I, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, never heard of the square of fifths. I mean, who knows? But I'll just draw a very general one, very broad. Um, but the circle of fifths is useful in understanding scales and key signatures. Uh, it shows the relationship of one key to another by the number of sharps or flats in the key signature and again the order in which they occur. So let's start with this um with this with this circle divide and, and divide it into uh into uh um I guess twelve sections, um but it, it'll kinda go in the order of like a clock, right? So let's use a different color. So let's just um remember the order uh of sharps, right? Uh F C uh, G, <clears throat> D, A, E, and B. Right. So on the uh, on the outside, we'll put uh, a little uh, sharp, and on the the bottom, we'll put uh, a little flat sign. Right. Oops. I don't know what's going on here. Sorry about that. Well, um, for the order, uh, for sharp keys, sharp keys, we start with C, okay? Start with C and move to the right in a clockwise direction, right? So you'll sort of move like this in a clockwise direction. Um, for uh, <clears throat> for flat keys, we start with C again. But we move counterclockwise. Move counter clockwise. Okay, so start with C, right? And we move counterclockwise like that. Um, and uh, very briefly, the for 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 memorizing the uh, the scales. <clears throat> For uh, sharp scales, the the sharp keys ascend by fifths. Okay. And for flat scales. the flat keys descend by fifths flat keys descend oh my gosh descend by fifths right okay um again we'll we'll, we'll go over the conceptual uh, lessons on this a little bit later but now i want to introduce you to enharmonic notes um, enharmonic notes are two notes that sound the same but are written differently. Okay, I think in another video I, I showed you an example of, uh, of uh, a semitone going from E to uh, E sharp. And uh, you may have been thinking, well, oh, what, wouldn't that be, wouldn't E sharp be just like F? Wouldn't they be the same? Well, there, again, there, there are these, there's this term, let me just give you the definition, enharmonic. Um, so the, these are, are notes, or two notes, sorry, two notes 
<clears throat> with same sound pretty much but written differently um, so three pairs of keys share the same space on the circle okay and uh, those pairs would be um, would be like they overlap right they would be uh, D flat and C sharp okay those are the same those are enharmonic notes G flat and F sharp are enharmonic notes and C flat and B these pairs of keys are enharmonics. They all have the same pitch, but the notes are named differently. 